In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 29, Chapter 67, Al-Mulk, Dominion. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Blessed is he in whose hand is dominion, and he is over all things competent. He who created death and life to test you, as to which of you is best indeed, and he is the exalted in might, the forgiving. And who created seven heavens in layers? You do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency. So return your vision to the sky. Do you see any breaks? Then return your vision twice again. Your vision will return to you humbled, while it is fatigued. And we have certainly beautified the nearest heaven with lamps, that is stars, and have made from them what is thrown at the devils, and have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze. And for those who disbelieved in their Lord is the punishment of hell, and wretched is the destination. When they are thrown into it, they hear from it a dreadful inhaling while it boils up. It almost bursts with rage. Every time a company is thrown into it, its keepers ask them, Did there not come to you a warner? They will say, Yes, a warner had come to us, but we denied, and said, Allah has not sent down anything. You are not but in great error. And they will say, If only we had been listening or reasoning, we would not be among the companions of the blaze. And they will admit their sin, so it is alienation for the companions of the blaze. Indeed, those who fear their Lord unseen will have forgiveness and great reward, and conceal your speech or publicize it. Indeed, he is knowing of that within the breasts. Does he who created not know, while he is the subtle, the acquainted? It is he who made the earth tame for you, so walk among its slopes, and eat of his provision, and to him is the resurrection. Do you feel secure that he who holds authority in the heaven would not cause the earth to swallow you, and suddenly it would sway? Or do you feel secure that he who holds authority in the heaven would not send against you a storm of stones? Then you would know how severe was my warning. And already had those before them denied, and how terrible was my reproach. Do they not see the birds above them with wings outspread, and sometimes folded in? None holds them aloft except the most merciful. Indeed he is, of all things, seeing. Or who is it that could be an army for you, to aid you other than the most merciful? The disbelievers are not but in delusion. Or who is it that could provide for you if he withheld his provision? But they have persisted in insolence and aversion. Then is one who walks forward on his face better guided, or one who walks erect on a straight path? Say, it is he who has produced you, and made for you hearing and vision, and hearts, that is intellect. Little are you grateful. Say, it is he who has multiplied you throughout the earth, and to him you will be gathered. And they say, when is this promise, if you should be truthful? Say, the knowledge is only with Allah, and I am only a clear warner. But when they see it approaching, the faces of those who disbelieve will be distressed, and it will be said, This is that for which you used to call. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, have you considered whether Allah should cause my death and those with me, or have mercy upon us? Who can protect the disbelievers from a painful punishment? Say, He is the most merciful. We have believed in Him, and upon Him we have relied, and you will come to know who it is that is in clear error. Say, have you considered, if your water was to become sunken into the earth, then who could bring you flowing water? This completes Chapter 67, Al-Mulk, Dominion. Chapter 68, Al-Qalam, The Pen. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Noon, by the pen and what they inscribe, you are not, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, by the favour of your Lord, a madman, and indeed for you is a reward uninterrupted, and indeed you are of a great moral character. So you will see, and they will see, which of you is the afflicted by a devil. Indeed your Lord is most knowing of who has gone astray from his way, and he is most knowing of the rightly guided. Then do not obey the deniers. They wish that you would soften in your position, so they would soften toward you. And do not obey every worthless habitual swearer, and scorner, going about with malicious gossip, a preventer of good, transgressing and sinful, cruel, moreover, and an illegitimate pretender. 
because he is a possessor of wealth and children. When our verses are recited to him, he says, Legends of the former peoples, we will brand him upon the snout. Indeed, we have tried them as we tried the companions of the garden, when they swore to cut its fruit in the early morning, without making exception. So there came upon it, that is the garden, an affliction from your Lord while they were asleep, and it became as though reaped, and they called one another at morning, saying, Go early to your crop if you would cut the fruit. So they set out, while lowering their voices, saying, They will surely not enter it today upon you any poor person. And they went early in determination, assuming themselves able. But when they saw it, they said, Indeed we are lost, rather we have been deprived. The most moderate of them said, Did I not say to you, Why do you not exalt Allah? They said, Exalted is our Lord. Indeed we were wrongdoers. Then they approached one another, blaming each other. They said, O oh, woe to us! Indeed we were transgressors. Perhaps our Lord will substitute for us one better than it. Indeed we are toward our Lord desirous. Such is the punishment of this world, and the punishment of the hereafter is greater, if they only knew. Indeed, for the righteous with their Lord are the gardens of pleasure. Then will we treat the Muslims like the criminals. What is the matter with you? How do you judge? Or do you have a scripture in which you learn that indeed for you is whatever you choose? Or do you have oaths binding upon us, extending until the day of resurrection, that indeed for you is whatever you judge? Ask them which of them for that claim is responsible. Or do they have partners? Then let them bring their partners, if they should be truthful. The day the shin will be uncovered, and they are invited to prostration, but they, that is the disbelievers, will not be able. Their eyes humbled, humiliation will cover them, and they used to be invited to prostration while they were sound. So leave me, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the matter of whoever denies this statement, that is the Qur'an. We will progressively lead them to punishment, from where they do not know. And I will give them time, indeed my plan is firm. Or do you ask of them a payment, so they are by debt burdened down? Or have they knowledge of the unseen, so they write it down? Then be patient for the decision of your Lord, O Muhammad, peace be upon him. And be not like the companion of the fish, that is Jonah, when he called out while he was distressed. If not that a favour that is mercy from his Lord overtook him, he would have been thrown onto the naked shore while he was censured. And his Lord chose him and made him of the righteous. And indeed, those who disbelieve would almost make you slip with their eyes, that is, looks, when they hear the message, and they say, Indeed, he is mad. But it is not except a reminder to the worlds. This completes Chapter 68, Al-Qalam, the Pen. Chapter 69, Al-Haqa, the Inevitable Reality. In the name of Allah, the Entirely Merciful, the Especially Merciful. The Inevitable Reality. What is the inevitable reality? And what can make you know what is the inevitable reality? Thamud and Ad denied the striking calamity, that is the resurrection. So as for Thamud, they were destroyed by the overpowering blast. And as for Ad, they were destroyed by a screaming violent wind, which he, that is Allah, imposed upon them for seven nights and eight days in succession. So you would see the people therein fallen as if they were hollow trunks of palm trees. Then do you see of them any remains? And there came Pharaoh and those before him and the overturned cities with sin. And they disobeyed the messenger of their Lord. So he seized them with a seizure exceeding in severity. Indeed, when the water overflowed, we carried you, that is your ancestors, in the sailing ship, that we might make it for you a reminder, and that a conscious ear would be conscious of it. Then, when the horn is blown with one blast, and the earth and the mountains are lifted, and leveled with one blow, that is stroke, then on that day the occurrence, that is resurrection, will occur, and the heaven will split open, for that day it is infirm. And the angels are at its edges, and there will bear the throne of your Lord above them, that day, eight of them. That day you will be exhibited for judgment, not hidden among you is anything concealed. So as for he who is given his record in his right hand, he will say, Here, read my record. Indeed I was certain that I would be meeting my account. So he will be in a pleasant life, in an elevated garden, 
its fruit to be picked hanging near. They will be told, Eat and drink in satisfaction for what you put forth in the days past. But as for he who is given his record in his left hand, he will say, Oh, I wish I had not been given my record, and had not known what is my account. I wish it, that is, my death had been the decisive one. My wealth has not availed me. Gone from me is my authority. Allah will say, Seize him, and shackle him. Then into hellfire drive him. Then into a chain whose length is seventy cubits insert him. Indeed, he did not used to believe in Allah the Most Great, nor did he encourage the feeding of the poor. So there is not for him here this day any devoted friend, nor any food, except from the discharge of wounds. None will eat it except the sinners. So I swear by what you see, and what you do not see, that indeed it, that is the Qur'an, is the word of a noble messenger, and it is not the word of a poet, little do you believe nor the word of a soothsayer, little do you remember. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. And if he, that is Muhammad, peace be upon him, had made up about us some false sayings, we would have seized him by the right hand, then we would have cut from him the aorta. And there is no one of you who could prevent us from him. And indeed it, that is the Qur'an, is a reminder for the righteous. And indeed we know that among you are deniers, and indeed it will be a cause of regret upon the disbelievers. And indeed it is the truth of certainty. So exalt the name of your Lord, the Most Great. This completes chapter 69, Al-Haqa, the inevitable reality. Chapter 70, Al-Ma'arij, ways of ascent. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. A supplicant asks for a punishment bound to happen. To the disbelievers of it there is no preventer. It is from Allah, owner of the ways of ascent. The angels and the spirit, that is Gabriel, will ascend to him during a day, the extent of which is fifty thousand years. So be patient with gracious patience. Indeed they see it as distant, but we see it as near. On the day the sky will be like murky oil, and the mountains will be like wool, and no friend will ask anything of a friend. They will be shown each other. The criminal will wish that he could be ransomed from the punishment of that day by his children, and his wife, and his brother, and his nearest kindred who shelter him, and whoever is on earth entirely, so then it could save him. No, indeed it is the flame of hell, a remover of exteriors. It invites he who turned his back on truth and went away from obedience, and collected wealth and hoarded, Indeed, mankind was created anxious, when evil touches him, impatient, and when good touches him, withholding of it, except the observers of prayer, those who are constant in their prayer, and those within whose wealth is a known right for the petitioner and the deprived, and those who believe in the day of recompense, and those who are fearful of the punishment of their Lord. Indeed, the punishment of their Lord is not that from which one is safe, and those who guard their private parts, except from their wives, or those their right hands possess, for indeed they are not to be blamed. But whoever seeks beyond that, then they are the transgressors, and those who are to their trusts and promises attentive, and those who are in their testimonies upright, and those who carefully maintain their prayer, they will be in gardens honoured. So what is the matter with those who disbelieve, hastening from before you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him? to sit on your right and your left in separate groups. Does every person among them aspire to enter a garden of pleasure? No, indeed we have created them from that which they know. So I swear by the Lord of all risings and settings that indeed we are able to replace them with better than them, and we are not to be outdone. So leave them to converse vainly and amuse themselves until they meet their day which they are promised the day they will emerge from the graves rapidly, as if they were, toward an erected idol hastening. Their eyes humbled, humiliation will cover them. That is the day which they had been promised. This completes chapter 70, Al-Ma'arij, Ways of Ascent. Chapter 71, Nuh, the Prophet Noah, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Indeed, we sent Noah to his people, saying, Warn your people before there comes to them a painful punishment. He said, O my people, indeed I am to you a clear warner, saying, Worship Allah, 
fear him and obey me. He, that is Allah, will forgive you of your sins and delay you for a specified term. Indeed, the time set by Allah when it comes will not be delayed, if you only knew. He said, My Lord, indeed I invited my people to truth night and day, but my invitation increased them not except in flight, that is aversion. And indeed, every time I invited them that you may forgive them. They put their fingers in their ears, covered themselves with their garments, persisted, and were arrogant with great arrogance. Then I invited them publicly. Then I announced to them, and also confided to them secretly, and said, Ask forgiveness of your Lord. Indeed, he is ever a perpetual forgiver. He will send rain from the sky upon you in continuing showers, and give you increase in wealth and children, and provide for you gardens, and provide for you rivers. What is the matter with you, that you do not attribute to Allah due grandeur, while He has created you in stages? Do you not consider how Allah has created seven heavens in layers, and made the moon therein a reflected light, and made the sun a burning lamp? And Allah has caused you to grow from the earth a progressive growth. Then He will return you into it, and extract you another extraction. And Allah has made for you the earth an expanse, that you may follow therein roads of passage. Noah said, My Lord, indeed they have disobeyed me, and followed him whose wealth and children will not increase him, except in loss. And they conspired an immense conspiracy, and said, Never leave your gods, and never leave Wad, or Suwa, or Yaghut, and Yauq, and Nasr. And already they have misled many, and my Lord, do not increase the wrongdoers, except in error. Because of their sins they were drowned and put into the fire, and they found not for themselves besides Allah any helpers. And Noah said, My Lord, do not leave upon the earth from among the disbelievers an inhabitant. Indeed, if you leave them, they will mislead your servants, and not beget except every wicked one and confirmed disbeliever. My Lord, forgive me and my parents, and whoever enters my house a believer, and the believing men and believing women, and do not increase the wrongdoers, except in destruction. This completes chapter 71, Nuh, the prophet Noah. Chapter 72, Al-Jinn, the Jinn, in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, it has been revealed to me that a group of the Jinn listened and said, Indeed, we have heard an amazing Qur'an, that is recitation. It guides to the right course, and we have believed in it, and we will never associate with our Lord anyone. And it teaches that exalted is the nobleness of our Lord. He has not taken a wife or a son, and that our foolish one, that is Iblis, has been saying about Allah an excessive transgression. And we had thought that mankind and the jinn would never speak about Allah a lie. And there were men from mankind who sought refuge in men from the jinn, so they only increased them in burden, that is sin. And they had thought, as you thought, that Allah would never send anyone as a messenger. And we have sought to reach the heaven, but found it filled with powerful guards and burning flames. And we used to sit therein in positions for hearing, but whoever listens now will find a burning flame lying in wait for him. And we do not know, therefore, whether evil is intended for those on earth, or whether their Lord intends for them a right course. And among us are the righteous, and among us are others not so. We were of divided ways. And we have become certain that we will never cause failure to Allah upon earth, nor can we escape Him by flight. And when we heard the guidance, that is the Qur'an, we believed in it. And whoever believes in his Lord will not fear deprivation or burden, and among us are Muslims in submission to Allah, and among us are the unjust. And whoever has become Muslim, those have sought out the right course. But as for the unjust, they will be for hell firewood. And Allah revealed that if they had remained straight on the way, we would have given them abundant rain, that is provision, so we might test them therein. And whoever turns away from the remembrance of his Lord, he will put into arduous punishment. And he revealed that the masjids are for Allah, so do not invoke with Allah anyone. And that when the servant, that is Prophet of Allah, stood up, supplicating him, they almost became about him a compacted mass. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, I only invoke my Lord, and do not associate with him anyone. Say, Indeed, I do not possess for you the power of harm or right direction. 
say, Indeed, they will never protect me from Allah, anyone, if I should disobey, nor will I find in other than him a refuge. But I have for you only notification from Allah and his messengers. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, then indeed for him is the fire of hell. They will abide therein forever. The disbelievers continue until, when they see that which they are promised. Then they will know who is weaker in helpers and less in number. Say, I do not know if what you are promised is near, or if my Lord will grant for it a long period. He is knower of the unseen, and he does not disclose his knowledge of the unseen to anyone, except whom he has approved of messengers, and indeed he sends before him, that is each messenger, and behind him observers, that he, that is Muhammad, peace be upon him, may know that they have conveyed the messages of their Lord, and he has encompassed whatever is with them, and has enumerated all things in number. This completes chapter 72, Al-Jinn, the Jinn. Chapter 73, Al-Muzammil, the one who wraps himself in clothing. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. O you who wraps himself in clothing, arise to pray the night except for a little, half of it, or subtract from it a little, or add to it, and recite the Qur'an with measured recitation. Indeed, we will cast upon you a heavy word. Indeed, the hours of the night are more effective for concurrence of heart and tongue, and more suitable for words. Indeed, for you by day is prolonged occupation. And remember the name of your Lord, and devote yourself to Him with complete devotion. He is the Lord of the East and the West. There is no deity except Him, so take Him as disposer of your affairs. And be patient over what they say, and avoid them with gracious avoidance. And leave me with the matter of the deniers, those of ease in life, and allow them respite a little. Indeed with us, for them are shackles and burning fire, and food that chokes and a painful punishment. On the day the earth and the mountains will convulse, and the mountains will become a heap of sand pouring down. Indeed we have sent to you a messenger as a witness upon you, just as we sent to Pharaoh a messenger. But Pharaoh disobeyed the messenger, so we seized him with a ruinous seizure. Then how can you fear if you disbelieve, a day that will make the children white-haired? The heaven will break apart therefrom, ever is his promise fulfilled. Indeed this is a reminder, so whoever wills may take to his Lord away. Indeed, your Lord knows, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, that you stand in prayer almost two-thirds of the night, or half of it, or a third of it, and so do a group of those with you, and Allah determines the extent of the night and the day. He has known that you Muslims will not be able to do it, and has turned to you in forgiveness. So recite what is easy for you of the Qur'an. He has known that there will be among you those who are ill, and others travelling throughout the land seeking something of the bounty of Allah, and others fighting for the cause of Allah. So recite what is easy from it, and establish prayer, and give zakah, and loan Allah a goodly loan. And whatever good you put forward for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. It is better and greater in reward, and seek forgiveness of Allah. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. This completes chapter 73, Al-Muzammil, the one who wraps himself in clothing. Chapter 74, Al-Muddathir, the one who covers himself with a garment. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. O you who covers himself with a garment, arise and warn, and your Lord glorify, and your clothing purify, and uncleanliness avoid, and do not confer favour to acquire more, but for your Lord be patient. And when the trumpet is blown, that day will be a difficult day, for the disbelievers not easy. Leave me with the one I created alone, and to whom I granted extensive wealth, and children present with him, and spread everything before him, easing his life. Then he desires that I should add more. No, indeed he has been toward our verses obstinate. I will cover him with arduous torment, Indeed he thought and deliberated, so may he be destroyed for how he deliberated. Then may he be destroyed for how he deliberated. Then he considered again, then he frowned and scowled, then he turned back and was arrogant, and said, This is not but magic imitated from others. This is not but the word of a human being. I will drive him into saqr. And what can make you know what is saqr? It lets nothing remain and leaves nothing unburned. 
altering that is blackening the skins. Over it are nineteen angels. And we have not made the keepers of the fire except angels. And we have not made their number except as a trial for those who disbelieve, that those who are given the scripture will be convinced, and those who have believed will increase in faith, and those who are given the scripture and the believers will not doubt, and that those in whose hearts is disease, that is hypocrisy, and the disbelievers will say, What does Allah intend by this as an example? Thus does Allah leave astray whom he wills, and guides whom he wills, and none knows the soldiers of your Lord except him, and it, that is mention of the fire, is not but a reminder to humanity. No, by the moon, and by the night when it departs, and by the morning when it brightens, indeed it, that is the fire, is of the greatest afflictions, as a warning to humanity, to whoever wills among you to proceed or stay behind. Every soul, for what it has earned, will be retained, except the companions of the right, who will be in gardens questioning each other, about the criminals, and asking them, What put you into Saqr? They will say, We were not of those who prayed, nor did we used to feed the poor, and we used to enter into vain discourse with those who engaged in it, and we used to deny the day of recompense, until there came to us the certainty that is death, so they will not benefit them the intercession of any intercessors. Then what is the matter with them that they are, from the reminder turning away, as if they were alarmed donkeys, fleeing from a lion, Rather, every person among them desires that he would be given scriptures spread about. No, but they do not fear the hereafter. No, indeed it, that is the Qur'an, is a reminder. Then whoever wills will remember it. And they will not remember except that Allah wills. He is worthy of fear and adequate for granting forgiveness. This completes chapter 74, Al-Muddathir, the one who covers himself with a garment. Chapter 75 al qiyamah The Resurrection In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, I swear by the day of resurrection, and I swear by the reproaching soul to the certainty of resurrection. Does man think that we will not assemble his bones? Yes, we are able even to proportion his fingertips. But man desires to continue in sin. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? So when vision is dazzled, and the moon darkens, and the sun and the moon are joined, man will say on that day, Where is the place of escape? No, there is no refuge. To your Lord that day is the place of permanence. Man will be informed that day of what he sent ahead and kept back. Rather man against himself will be a witness, even if he presents his excuses. Move not your tongue with it, O Muhammad, peace be upon him to hasten with it, that is recitation of the Qur'an. Indeed, upon us is its collection in your heart, and to make possible its recitation. So when we have recited it through Gabriel, then follow its recitation. Then upon us is its clarification to you. No, but you, that is mankind, love the immediate, and leave, that is neglect, the hereafter. Some faces that day will be radiant, looking at their Lord, and some faces that day will be contorted expecting that there will be done to them something backbreaking. No, when it, that is the soul, has reached the collarbones, and it is said, who will cure him? And he, that is the dying one, is certain that it is the time of separation, and the leg is wound about the leg. To your Lord that day will be the procession, and he, that is the disbeliever, had not believed, nor had he prayed, but instead he denied and turned away. And then he went to his people, swaggering in pride. Woe to you, and woe! Then woe to you, and woe! Does man think that he will be left neglected? Had he not been a sperm from semen emitted? Then he was a clinging clot, and Allah created his form and proportioned him, and made of him two mates, the male and the female. Is not that creator able to give life to the dead? This completes chapter 75, al qiyamah The Resurrection. Chapter 76 Al-Insan Man In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Has there not come upon man a period of time when he was not a thing even mentioned? Indeed, we created man from a sperm drop mixture that we may try him, and we made him hearing and seeing. Indeed, we guided him to the way, be he grateful or be he ungrateful. 
Indeed, we have prepared for the disbelievers chains and shackles and ablaze. Indeed, the righteous will drink from a cup of wine, whose mixture is of kafur, a spring of which the righteous servants of Allah will drink. They will make it gush forth in force and abundance. They are those who fulfill their vows and fear a day whose evil will be widespread. And they give food in spite of love for it to the needy, the orphan and the captive, saying, We feed you only for the countenance that is approval of Allah. We wish not from you reward or gratitude. Indeed, we fear from our Lord a day austere and distressful. So Allah will protect them from the evil of that day and give them radiance and happiness and will reward them for what they patiently endured with a garden in paradise and silk garments. They will be reclining therein on adorned couches. They will not see therein any burning sun or freezing cold. And near above them are its shades, and its fruit to be picked will be lowered in compliance. And there will be circulated among them vessels of silver and cups having been created clear as glass, clear glasses made from silver of which they have determined the measure. And they will be given to drink a cup of wine whose mixture is of ginger from a fountain within it that is paradise named Salsabil. They will circulate among them young boys made eternal. When you see them, you would think them as beautiful as scattered pearls. And when you look there in paradise, you will see pleasure and great dominion. Upon them, that is the inhabitants, will be green garments of fine silk and brocade, and they will be adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord will give them a purifying drink. And it will be said, Indeed, this is for you a reward, and your effort has been appreciated. Indeed, it is we who have sent down to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Qur'an progressively. So be patient for the decision of your Lord, and do not obey from among them a sinner or ungrateful disbeliever. And mention the name of your Lord in prayer morning and evening, and during the night prostrate to him, and exalt, that is, praise him, a long part of the night. Indeed, these disbelievers love the immediate, and leave behind them a grave day. We have created them, and strengthened their forms, and when we will, we can change their likenesses with complete alteration. Indeed, this is a reminder, so he who wills may take to his Lord away. And you do not will, except that Allah wills. Indeed, Allah is ever-knowing and wise. He admits whom He wills into His mercy, but the wrongdoers. He has prepared for them a painful punishment. This completes Chapter 76, Al-Insan, Man. Chapter 77, Al-Mursalat, Those Sent Forth, In the Name of Allah, The Entirely Merciful, The Especially Merciful, By Those Winds Sent Forth in Gusts, and the winds that blow violently, and by the winds that spread clouds, and those angels who bring criterion, and those angels who deliver a message as justification or warning. Indeed, what you are promised is to occur. So when the stars are obliterated, and when the heaven is opened, and when the mountains are blown away, and when the messenger's time has come, for what day was it postponed? For the day of judgment. And what can make you know what is the day of judgment? Woe, that day to the deniers! Did we not destroy the former peoples? Then we will follow them with the later ones. Thus do we deal with the criminals. Woe, that day to the deniers! Did we not create you from a liquid disdained, and we placed it in a firm lodging that is the womb, for a known extent, and we determined it, and excellent are we to determine. Woe, that day to the deniers! Have we not made the earth a container of the living and the dead? And we place therein lofty, firmly set mountains, and have given you to drink sweet water. Woe that day to the deniers! They will be told, Proceed to that which you used to deny. Proceed to a shadow of smoke having three columns, but having no cool shade, and availing not against the flame. Indeed it throws sparks as huge as a fortress, as if they were yellowish black camels. Woe that day to the deniers! This is a day they will not speak, nor will it be permitted for them to make an excuse. Woe that day to the deniers! This is the day of judgment. We will have assembled you and the former peoples. So if you have a plan, then plan against me. Woe that day to the deniers! Indeed the righteous will be among shades and springs, and fruits from whatever they desire being told, eat and drink in satisfaction for what you used to do. 
Indeed, we thus reward the doers of good. Woe that day to the deniers. O disbelievers, eat and enjoy yourselves a little. Indeed, you are criminals. Woe that day to the deniers. And when it is said to them, Bow in prayer, they do not bow. Woe that day to the deniers. Then in what statement after it, that is the Qur'an, will they believe? This completes chapter 77, Al-Mursalat, those sent forth.